Okay, so I'm filming an unboxing and review on this hair, so make sure you guys check that out. It should be up before this vlog is up. Anyways, but um, I filmed the review last night and then I just left it here to dry overnight to air dry after I co-washed it. And this is so far the results. I'm about to film that final piece. Uh, just received a few packages. Derek purchased... Sorry, I just want to make sure none of our information is on these packages before I show them. But Derek purchased some stuff from Macy's. He got diamonds and cute little socks. Um, I'm obsessed with baby socks because he always has socks on his feet. And then he purchased himself this flannel. You guys know that we're in a competition right now where um, he's trying to step up his wardrobe game. Only thing is he brought this um, really cute flannel. I really, really, really like it. But it's like 90 degrees in LA now and it's long sleeve. So I don't know how this is going to work out. But again, it's really, really cute. Then also check out Ralph Lauren's packaging Ralph Lauren is his favorite brand oh by the way that's Ralph Lauren and this is Ralph Lauren as well and then so I can't wait till he comes home to try it all out but they have really dope packaging but even better than that Diamond is sleeping which is why I'm talking kind of low but look what I got he told me to go to the door and open it and there was nothing at the door because my brother-in-law had already brought the package in. I don't want to show you guys my address, but I'm going to open this up, then I'll show you what's inside. To my beautiful wife, I love you and hope you enjoy this Valentine's Day. Aww. So excuse this dirty table, but I just got some roses. Aren't they so pretty? I'm about to go and put them in some water. And then this is the card he gave me. It says, to my beautiful wife, I love you and hope you enjoy this Valentine's Day. So I'm so, 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 so happy. But my little man continues to sleep. I'm going to clean this house from top to bottom because... It's Friday, I'm in a cleaning mood, and I want my house clean. And then I'm also going to do that, put this wig together, because I want fresh hair for the day. But obviously I'm not on camera right now, because I look on this.com, so I'm going to try and get started, or finish this, um, what am I trying to say? I'm going to go ahead and film this last part of this video. I'm going to try and go ahead and get this done because I would rather do the wig first. Just because um, I know that if I get tired, I'm not going to want to do this later. And that I, honestly is priority. So if I can get this wig done really quickly and finish this video, um, that would be perfect. And then from there, I can just clean obviously i'm gonna make a mess with the hair and thread so it'll go perfect my house will be cleaned after i make all of this mess so hopefully we'll be back later on fleek or nah. I'm still trying to get used to it because I'm not used to having curly hair and I just feel like it's so big. I'm still going to spend a little bit more time perfecting it. I took some tweezers and I plucked the um, part a little bit but I got kind of not irritated but um tired of doing the same thing over and over and over so I'm going to take a little bit more time tonight and try to pluck it a little bit more and a little bit better because I had things to do. I was hoping to get this unit um, done in an hour but um, of course Diamond didn't want to let me 
get flaky so he literally stood there for like the last hour that I was doing it holding onto my leg crying I would stop feed him he would play and then as soon as I got back up thinking that he was okay he would start crying again so it was very you know frustrating and it made it that much more tedious so something that I could have gotten done in about an hour it took me about three hours to do because I kept having to stop give him a snack stop feed him stop play with him um I was going to record the look I actually started recording the look in the beginning um but like I said he was all over the place Megan it seemed like he was dying so I had to just say forget the recording next time I get some hair um then I will record how I do my um sew it onto the cap and I'll show you what kind of cap I use and all that um I'm still trying to perfect it anyway like my sewing is not all the way on point I just sew the way I know how to sew and I just get it on and it works for me but um I definitely still need more practice with that but like I said I'm loving this hair I mean it's completely dry so what I was gonna do was um wet it down a little bit with some water mixed with some of this uh just for me hair, hair milk it's a kids leave-in uh, conditioner detangler, but I like it because it's lightweight and it doesn't leave a uh, film or residue on my hands when I use it. So I'm hoping that it won't um, leave anything on this hair, but I just want to be able to give it a little bit more, um, not curl because it's curly, but it's so big. I just kind of want to bring it down a little bit i like it big but like i just gotta get used to it um my room was an absolute mess five minutes ago and as you can see i kind of straightened it up a little bit except for his toys which there's no point in putting these away because he's gonna wake up and play with them but um i was planning on getting like six things done today and all i got done was this hair i uh, made the two calls i was supposed to make um i finished the review on this hair this more or this yeah this morning and then i also got up today's vlog but um the only thing i didn't really get done was just cleaning the house but like i said i didn't i didn't want to clean the house before i did my hair because right now there's hair like everywhere um from sewing getting and going back and forth between the bathroom and the kitchen um but i have the vacuum here and i'm going to Vacuum as soon as he wakes up. I think daddy's here because I just heard the door, the alarm for the front door. Let's see if it's him. I guess it wasn't him. I took out some meat. We're going to have um, just regular barbecue chicken wings fried with french fries. So I'm going to run to target I think and get grab some fries because I gotta do a return anyway I'm starving because I haven't eaten anything so I'm having an uncrustable but now I'm just anxious because I have nothing to do until he wakes up because I need detergent so I can't wash and I need to vacuum and I can't until he wakes up so Basically, I guess I'll start editing this review. It's going to go up on Monday, so I think you'll see this review before you see this vlog or after. I don't know, but we'll be back when there's actually something going on. Okay, so I know I'm petty, but Girl Scouts was packing up right now, so I sat in my car and waited until they packed up to leave so that I didn't have to um, so they didn't have to ask me to buy because your girl is not trying to buy no uh, cookies and I'm not trying to tell the little girls no either so I'm at the store about to grab a few things and then I will be back the worst thing about getting your hair done fresh is it being tight Right now, my hair feels so, 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 so tight. I just feel like pulling it like halfway back and letting it hang out there. Because this is what gives me a headache. And it's no different when I get like a, um, a sew-in install. Same thing. And it's like you like it to be tight because you know 
it'll last longer like for example with this wig the fact that it's tight I know that um, it ain't going nowhere you know what I mean and of course it'll loosen up over the next few days but geez like I want to go to the gym tonight but I feel like I'm freaking pass out in the gym this damn thing is so tight but I did a good job in the back because I feel like it's really like perfect in the back and it's full in the back so I can actually lift it up into a high ponytail or a high bun um, and it'll look gold and here I am hanging out in the middle of the street because these people don't want to drive fast enough right here at this little intersection near where um, this Ralph's is I came last night and there was a horrible accident like I literally like almost cried like I think the, the guy literally was dead god forbid but um, I came out of the grocery store and I had came onto the light and of course I seen the ambulance and he was still on the ground and they were putting him on the stretcher but you know, usually when there's an, an, uh, an accident, they bring out like their breathing machines or some kind of, you know, first aid to, to treat you or to, you know, do something to you at the scene. But with him, they put him on the stretcher and they like wrapped his body onto the stretcher. And they weren't looking like, looking like they were like talking to him or interacting like as if he had like passed away. Like I said, God forbid that he passed, but um, super duper scary. And then when you looked on the ground, of course his bike was in half, like literally, literally in half. And when you seen the van that he crashed into, like you can see the front um, passenger door was dented and like he went straight into the door. And it's just so sad because it's just like the first thing I think when I see stuff like that is like, why? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know it's no one. I mean, you really don't know whose fault it was or if it just was a terrible accident. But things like that, like, you know, it probably happened so fast and it didn't mean to happen. But then you don't know if it was a drunk driver involved. You don't know really what happened. And it's just so scary because just that quick, you know what I mean? I think that's one of my fears as and why I'm a, such a cautious driver is because like I remember a few years ago um, I was driving I used to live in LA I used to live in a dirty part of LA like Lamert Park no disrespect but you know I had to live there and take care of my brother and do what I had to do but um, during that time sometimes coming from work in Beverly Hills to Lamert Park I would take the streets and I would like sometimes go through the jungles because there's a little a beauty supply over there that, that I loved and I was literally driving through the jungles and this cute little girl she you can tell she was biracial she looked like she could have been like Hispanic and black she came out of nowhere literally out of nowhere and she um like I'm driving and you know the cars are all lined up along the street parked and there's just one lane to drive this way and one lane to drive drive the opposite way and out of nowhere she came from in between two cars to grab a ball and it literally was like she came out like she's like right here I'm right here and I literally swerved if I would have kept straight I would have hit her if I would not have swerved I would have hit her and took her whole freaking head off and it wasn't that I was speeding or anything but she was just so little that she would have just went under my car and it was literally she was so little that she would have just went under my car and it literally was the scariest experience of my life like I swerved to the other side of the street and like I literally stopped in front of um stopped and like hopped out of the car and I'm like where did she go is she okay and there were already a bunch of people outside that I guess didn't know her and like I see when I get out of the car that she had like ran upstairs to her house and like the, this old man he's like baby it's okay just get in the car and go she's okay she's okay and like I'm freaking out and crying like oh my god like if I had not swerved I would have literally killed this little girl and, and it wouldn't have been my fault but just to have somebody's blood on your hands and just to have to live with that like to this day I would still be thinking about that girl that like I killed like I would have never been able to to cope with that but it's like man that's the scary thing about accidents and like since then like I've been such a cautious driver I drive slow Derek hates my driving my dad actually drives exactly like me but it's like I just can't help it like I can't speed anymore like I'm traumatized but anyways I got all my groceries I was too cheap to buy a bag a 10 cent bag so some of the stuff is in here the rest is right here I'm about to go up and cook and eat and get my butt in the gym and get in my butt in the bed
18 pounds, 6 ounces. 18 pounds? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were bigger. Let me take his temperature.